Our project is the 3D printer quick change tool head, and our group consists of Tate Stanton, Brandon Kompaki, Ryan Cavalieri, and Hudson McHenry. Our mentors for this project are Chad Ulvin and Luke Gibbon, and our sponsor was the U.S. Army Research Grant. The main purpose of this project was to create three sets of brackets that could interchangeably attach custom 3D printer tool heads to a ShopBot Alpha gantry system. In order for our product to be a success, a few constraints needed to be met. Those constraints were it needed to be operated by a single user, needed to have built-in fail-safes, printer heads needed to be switched out in less than 30 minutes, we needed three distinct levels for 3D printing equipment, and it needed to withstand a side load of 500 pounds and a normal load of up to 100 pounds. The design we settled on was modeled after a French cleat. One of our main considerations in our design was ease of manufacturing. Since our requirements demanded multiple brackets to be manufactured, our simplistic final design met requirements and also lent itself to rapid production. Before committing to purchasing a few hundred pounds of steel, we wanted to ensure that our design fit the gantry in real life. To do this, we 3D printed a two-scale model and ensured functionality. After the design was selected, we used FEA to help reduce the weight and stress concentrations that were present in our current design. Um, this was done by creating an accurate 3D model on Fusion 360, um, which allowed us to see where the stress concentrations were and could pinpoint what parts of our design needed to be reduced and other parts that needed to be increased in strength. All of our parts are made out of A36 steel and needed to be at a fairly decent fit with the little deflection desired. Almost all of our parts were machined at Opportunity Machining, except for the gussets which were made by the NDSU machine shop. Once the parts were machined, they were spray painted and assembled at the lab. Once assembled, the brackets were then test fitted onto the machine to ensure fit and finish. 